NBC2 is following that breaking news that we told you about a few moments ago. A Lee County deputy has been involved in a crash. This is happening at MLK and Veronica Shoemaker Boulevard in Fort Myers. NBC2's Gage Golding is on scene digging for answers. Gage, what are you digging up? Yeah, right now we know, and the most important thing is, is that two people were taken to the hospital with very minor injuries. You can see this one car here. This is at the intersection of Veronica S. Shoemaker Boulevard and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. I want to point out the traffic that we're dealing with. Uh, police here dealing with uh, rush hour traffic, as we know at this time, it's very heavy. But the biggest concern is actually down this culvert, and TV just doesn't do it justice. This is probably at least 10 feet is where this sheriff's deputy car came to rest after coming through. I'm not sure if we can show where a section of fence is actually missing. It's being replaced by a uh, fire line do not cross. And if you look through the murky water, that fence, you can tell by the pressure of the collision, the force of the collision, driving that metal fence out of the concrete and into the water. And while it may look like a very scary and severe incident, it was. I'm told by fire officials here on the scene that the police officer actually climbed out of the vehicle on his own power and climbed right up the embankment following the crash that this all happened just around four o'clock this evening. Now I'm working to learn exactly what caused this accident to happen and I think that's exactly what police are still here doing. We can see a lot of officers taking pictures. We saw some measurements being taken earlier. So as soon as we learn more, we'll be sure to pass that along to you. For live now down in Fort Myers, Gates Golding, NBC2. All right, Gage, thank you.